Good evening. What are you cooking? I'm cooking braised pork shoulder with salsa verde. That is drier than a camel's Every time we turn on the TV and go through the Food Network, the Food Channel, or the Lifestyle Channel, we see the numerous faces, and of course scrumptious dishes, of our favorite celebrity chefs. Their exuberant personalities, the twinkle in their eyes, you know that someone who's so passionate about food and culture must just be great as a person as well. Or are they? After all, they're still celebrities, and they have to put on a show in front of the camera, even if it's just for cooking and not acting out elaborate plots. They still have reputations to maintain, but who are these chefs that aren't quite what they seem on the surface? Let's take a look. Paula Dean. That's how I raised my children. That's how I was raised. And that's how my grandchildren are being raised. Described as the Martha Stewart of the South, Paula Dean hastily fell even further south from where she already was. Famous for her recipes that use far too much butter, Dean had been a staple on television for many years when it was revealed that her unhealthy cooking had led her to develop diabetes. She began working as a spokesperson for a diabetes medication at that point, an image that didn't really sit well with her fans. She also came under heavy fire again in 2013, when she admitted to using racist language, in particular the very offensive n-word. But that's not the end of the story. What's even more shocking shocking is her justification of using such a word. She claimed to have been using that word when it was a different time. Her company put out the statement that Dean should be forgiven for such language, because she grew up during a different time when the southern states were still heavily segregated. But as far as defenses go, this one's pretty hard to swallow. To y'all that say I'm racist, I'd like you to meet Jelly Roll, my best friend in the whole cotton picking world. Guy Fieri. This is what it's like this is when the big weenie starts to have a meltdown. If Guy Fieri's gimmicky food, crazy it's hair, and the many right? bad reviews his restaurants have received haven't already put you off the guy, then perhaps his attitude will. Though he's still quite popular, his shows still regularly air on television after all, Fieri's developed a reputation that's a lot less nice than the food he cooks, which is really saying something given the aforementioned bad reviews of his restaurants. According to Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives producer David Page, Guy Fieri was very difficult to work with and had an overly inflated ego. And rumors swirl that he's a little insecure in his sexuality too. He reportedly said, you can't send me to talk to gay people without warning. Those people weird me out. Unbelievable. All in all, he's been called ridiculous and he's been accused of single-handedly destroying the Food Network, among a slew of other less than flattering things. This is ridiculous. A Guy Fieri's tweet that he was on his way to a Nickelback concert. Rachel Ray. If you want to have fun while watching someone cook, maybe the best show to tune into is Rachel Ray's. Ray is famous for her voice and the expression evu. She's bubbly, loud, and cooks incredibly good looking and probably even better tasting food that can be prepped in 30 minutes or less. But while her meals are quick and easy to prepare, her attitude might require a bit more work. Rachel Ray is reportedly quite the potty mouth behind the cameras, especially when interacting with her crew and cameramen. Her management and hiring practices have also come under fire, as a one hour taping apparently takes about six hours of time for her fans and viewers just waiting. Also, she didn't invite her father to her 10th wedding anniversary, though that might be a, another story all its own. 50 Cent surprised you, does 50 Cent Oh, I cent can't even look nervous? at 50 Cent, I can't even, oh. Jamie Oliver. I've been hard on you this week, Jamie. I've called you fat. Remember Jamie Oliver's crusade against all things bad and unhealthy? When he showed kids the truth about how chicken nuggets are made? When he just wanted people to go organic and healthy? Doesn't he just sound amazing and exactly the kind of person you would want to look up to? Well, maybe in the cooking world, but in other aspects of his life? Uh, not so much. In particular, a lot of women didn't find his remarks about breastfeeding pleasant. On a radio show, Jamie talked about how breastfeeding was easy and convenient and more nutritious and free, which doesn't seem that bad on the surface, but many women felt that man has no place explaining how easy breastfeeding is. It's not easy or pleasant for everyone, and many women accused him of mansplaining breastfeeding to them. One listener responded with, Huh, we didn't know what to do with our nipples until Jamie Oliver popped his head above the parapet. I guess that one made him look like a bit of a boob. <laughs> By the way, they, they, it gets so much darker than that. Rocco Disperito. Big oh, yeah. fat spaghetti, exactly. and it makes a cute slurpy noise when you go to suck it up. It's adorable. Rocco Dispirito seems to have 
quite the booming celebrity chef career. Between his numerous television appearances, his own reality show, and his restaurant Despirito, he's cultivated quite the following. But even a career as successful as this is not enough for some people. Despirito's relentless pursuit of even more fame and wealth has been a total turnoff for a lot of once loyal fans. Some people have accused him of having a big ego, especially after the episode of his reality show when he had a meltdown and screamed at a whole ton of people, including his mother. Even though, as spectators, we can never be sure if this conflict was genuine or staged. It is reality TV after all. But speaking of his mother, he apparently wanted a bigger share of the family estate despite already having half of it. He ran the risk of becoming estranged from his siblings, even though he was his mother's primary caretaker for a really long time. Maybe he's not so bad after all? It's hard to tell. We get a little depressed when people yeah. don't like what we do, but it's not offensive and no one does anything weird in the kitchen. Mario Batali. You have reached the pinnacle of success. You were a character on The Simpsons this weekend. It's true. We may have tuned into Mario Batali for his expertise in Italian cooking and other recipes, but he's definitely not the guy to look to as a model for how to behave. First, he and his business partner were sued by their wait staff. Apparently, they'd been skimming 5% off the waiter's tips. Talk about bad management practices. Didn't you feel horrible? I was at, um... Yes, you're right. Bobby Flay. Know what you got? Come on, Anthony. <laughs> I hate winning. We all loved Bobby Flay at some point. First, he's really charismatic, good looking, and has great recipes. Who doesn't want to watch a bit of Throwdown with Bobby Flay when feeling under the weather? Who doesn't want to see him go head to head with other chefs on Iron Chef America? And it's not only us commoners, even celebrities like Scarlett Johansson like to hang out with him. But is he all that behind cameras? Apparently, his ego is quite inflated. Reportedly, after beating Chef Morimoto, Flay stepped on a cutting board, which is, you know, rude. Everyone knows Morimoto considers the cutting board to be sacred. Wait, did, did we know that? Never mind. Allegations of cheating on his wife of 10 years have sprung up too, as well as reports that he asked assistants to stay with her instead when she was rushed to the hospital. Okay. Yeah. I put in. Are you blaming it on me? No, I'm, I'm. All right, give this a taste. Okay. Anthony Bourdain. The doors open. There's Steven Seagal in like a little Nancy Kwan outfit with a prayer rug holding his massive girth. Just looking at Anthony Bourdain makes us think that he's some sort of classy, cultured traveler. Which he is because, you know, he's been around. He's well known for both his extensive travel experience and his cooking. His globetrotting adventures are fantastic to watch. He makes us want to be cultured, well-traveled foodies with the wind in our hair and lots of food on our plates. But is he as awesome of a person as he seems? Besides his food adventures, Bourdain is also known for his numerous feuds. He fights with just about everyone. Rachel Ray, Paula Deen, Emeril Lagasse, and Guy Fieri. In fact, He's called Fieri a douche on more than one occasion. He also doesn't seem to like the Food Network very much and had some very unsavory things to say about it. He's been described as vulgar and macho on many occasions. Do you see a time where you might kiss and make up with Paula? What would that take? Please. Nuclear war. Giada De Laurentiis. Man, she has a lot of teeth. <laughs> Giada De Laurentiis is not only a treat to watch because of her radiant beauty, I mean, have you seen her? She's gorgeous. But she prepares really amazing and authentic Italian dishes too. Anytime we're looking for an authentic Italian recipe, we know that Giada will deliver. And she always presents each recipe in a way that's approachable for the novice home cook. Though, are those authentic, nice Italian dishes reflective of the chef herself? Many people have been quite annoyed at her, not only because of her unnecessary overpronunciation of Italian words, My Parmesan pomodoro. but because of how positively inauthentic she is. Reports have surfaced that she doesn't even eat the food she cooks on her TV show. Though, we have to say, her rep has denied these claims. People also feel her smile, which seems plastered to her face for the entire show, is inauthentic and hollow. Though this might be explained by the fact that a producer reportedly told her to smile all the time. That's just lovely. Now roll it. Have you ever well, why didn't made any, any kind of balls? ball before? No, I'm not. It's Nicole. Ina Garten. Is putting up with me for 45 years. Oh, God. <laughs> Who could ever hate the gracious Ina Garten, the barefoot Contessa herself? She always cooks the most exquisite dishes for her beloved Jeffrey, simple yet stylish and classy. Plus, she looks just so damn peaceful and content doing it. Who wouldn't want to be invited to one of her famous dinner parties? Her hubby Jeffrey sure is one lucky guy. But not all people who come across Ina are quite as lucky. In fact, 
many were disappointed when they found out that she refused to see a six-year-old fan with leukemia. The kid reached out to her to have a cooking session through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but the barefoot Contessa rejected the request twice. She did try to patch things up by finally inviting the family to the show, but it was too late. They'd already moved on to the kid's second wish, which was to swim with the dolphin. This is the best fried chicken you ever had? Next to the one you made, yeah. That's the right answer. Gordon Ramsay. Uh, wow. This, Japanese, it's a chicken nugget. Come on. Is it a surprise that our favorite fiery, quick-tempered, and foul-mouthed chef Gordon Ramsay's on this list? Perhaps to some, yes, as they've seen him comfort children on the MasterChef Junior series. He's often seen encouraging them and being generally pleasant, a far cry from his usual persona. Though these are children, after all. Other people know how ruthless he can get, though in and out of the kitchen. As far as social media is concerned, Ramsey seems to have the greatest reach on Twitter, where his responses to his fans cooking, you know, people tag him in their food posts, can range from constructive to just plain nasty. A lot of people go ahead and bait him just so he'll say something snarky and neat. A red wine, what? What is the red wine? There are times, however, when it's clear that he's pooping on the efforts of well-meaning fans. Would it hurt to be just a little more kind, Gordon? The saving grace were those potatoes. Now both of you, Piss off. Action Bronson. Oh, 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 oh my god. That is a bump of coke right there. Mm. Just look at Action Bronson. With his scraggly beard and large muscles, it's apparent that he can get brash if he wants to. And he usually does. He's described as crass and disgusting, something that he's quite proud of, actually. In fact, this behavior is part of his appeal, but sometimes his demeanor is just downright nasty. One time, he posted a picture on Instagram of a drunk person his friend threw water at. Then he captioned it with a close-up of drunk Mexican after Bez poured a bottle of water on its head. If that wasn't bad enough, he started telling people that they were sensitive for calling him out. He tried to apologize by saying that he didn't mean to offend the LGBTQ community, but then he immediately undercut himself by saying that he loves gay people, but not so much. Wow, what a douchebag. Mm, wow. That's delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna make a big batch of cheese stuffed pasta shells with tomato sauce. They are very, very popular in my house. It seems like this list of offensive, racist, sexist, or discriminatory celebrity chefs just keeps on going. And this time, it sends us in the direction of Chef Reed Drummond. While the others showed their intolerance through social media or real life, or something of that sort, Reed has the confidence to highlight hers on her own show. Come on, Reed, be better than this. On an episode of her show, The Pioneer Woman, she pulled out a batch of Asian hot wings to the apparent disgust of her family. She then replaced it with nice, quote, normal American buffalo wings. Because of course she wouldn't do that to her family, right? I wouldn't do that to you. Wrong. The Asian American community was outraged at how Ri used the Asian dish as a prank, with the rest of her family affirming how decidedly not normal Asian wings are at the dinner table. China. Ann Burrell. Little bowls and pots and pans and all that kind of stuff still get me excited. Co-host of Worst Cooks in America, Ann Burrell, is hated by many for various reasons. Her growling... And such a huge crowd pleaser. Her statement-making hair, which gives Guy Fieri's spiky Guy mess Fieri. a run for its money, and her other odd mannerisms all attract the ire of many Food Network fans. On the other hand, many other people celebrate her for coming out as queer in the hyper-masculine and judgmental restaurant industry, another great addition to the LGBTQ community. But it seems that, while she could have been another good champion for that community, one who's tolerant and loving, she herself has a kind of intolerant attitude. She got caught up in a scandal when her staff sued her for discriminatory remarks, including calling her female employees whores and sluts. She even made disparaging remarks like, you must be tired today from all night. Definitely not someone you'd like to look to for any kind of championing. Jeffrey Zakarian. If I went to your home <clears throat> right now, would I find the perfect pantry at your home? You would find several of them. <laughs> Jeffrey Zakarian is a pretty big player in the industry. One look at his crisp suits or his appearances on Chopped and Iron Chef America tells you all you need to know. He's really made it. But this man is not without his controversies. Described as having major cooking skills, he seems to be sorely lacking when it comes to his management skills and looking out for the welfare of his employees. He may have made it big for his cooking, but his name also made headlines for less savory incidents. He's been sued by his employees on the ground of gross violations of labor laws, as apparently Apparently, he'd not been compensating them fairly. He was also accused of doing things like falsifying pay records or not paying enough for overtime. 
His restaurant, The Country, closed down after he filed for bankruptcy in response to the class suit. How the mighty have fallen. We promise we're as nice as we seem in these videos. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for a chance to win an iPhone X. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.